Good morning, Grade Six. Welcome back to Grade Six Mathematics class. Hope you all are doing great today. Let's discuss the rest of the questions from previous time exercise. So we had discussed the first five questions in the previous class. So today let's start with question number six. It says evaluate the following if a is equal to five and b is equal to minus two. And here you are given a few algebraic expressions. You are supposed to substitute the value of the variables a and b in each of these expressions and evaluate each. For example, the first expression 3a plus b. What is the value of the variable a? It is equal to 5. The variable b is equal to minus 2. Let's substitute these values in the first expression that is 3a plus b. So, 3a plus b is equal to 3 into 5. 3a means 3 into 5 plus what is b? It is minus 2. So, this is equal to 3 into 5 is 15 and this is 15 plus minus 2. So, we have to add two integers with different signs. So, we have to take that difference and put the sign of the number or the integer with more numerical value. So, 15 plus minus 2 is 13 plus 13. Why? Because 15 has more numerical value and it is positive. So, the value of this becomes equal to 13. So, when we substitute the value of a as 5 and b as minus 2, we get the value of the expression 3a plus b is equal to 13. Similarly, substitute the value of a and b in the remaining expressions here and evaluate each expression. Now, that was about question 6. Let's see question 7 now. Write the terms of the following algebraic expressions. So, the first expression is 3x minus 4y plus 8. So, which are the terms in this expression? So, the terms in the first expression are 3x, 4y and 8. So, x and y are the variables here. 3 and minus 4 are the coefficients here and 8 is the constant here. The terms 3x and 4y are separated with the mathematical operator for subtraction that is the minus symbol and the terms 4y and 8 are separated with the operator for addition that is the plus sign. So, in the remaining expressions given here identify the terms in each of them and list them in your notebook. So, that is about question number 7. Now, let us see question number 8 and it says make 5 different algebraic expressions using the terms 5x minus 3y and 10. So, here you are given 3 terms which are the terms 5x minus 3y and 10. You are supposed to make algebraic expressions using different combinations of these terms. For example, 5x minus 3y plus 10. So, that is just an example. You can make your own algebraic expressions using the terms given here. You can note them down in your notebook. Now, the next one is look at the pattern of the triangles formed. Write a general rule to find the number of sticks used for P triangles. See, here you have to observe the pattern of the triangles and then you have to form a general rule, an algebraic expression that represents a general rule for this pattern of triangles. So, here you have to find a general rule to find the number of sticks used for P triangles. So, look at the first triangle. So, for making one triangle, how many sticks do you need? You need 3 sticks. And for two triangles, you need 3 plus 3 or 3 into 2 which is equal to 6 sticks. And for three triangles, you need 3 plus 3 plus 3 or 3 into 3 which is equal to 9 sticks. See, as you observe the pattern, you can see for a given number of triangles, the number of sticks used will be equal to 3 into the number of triangles given. For example, if you are considering one triangle, 3 into the number of triangle is equal to 3 into 1 which is equal to 3. If you are considering two triangles, 3 into the number of triangles becomes equal to 
3 into 2 which is equal to 6. So there are 6 sticks needed to form 2 triangles. So you can see the numeral 3 has to be multiplied with the number of triangles to get the number of sticks used to form the triangles. So in general we can say the number of sticks used to form P triangles will be equal to 3 into P which can be written as 3 P. So if you are considering one triangle that will be 3 into 1 where P is equal to 1 3 into 1 3. If you are considering 5 triangles the number of sticks used will be equal to 3 into 5 which is equal to 15. Hence we formed a general rule to find the number of sticks used for P triangles. Now let's see the next question, question number 10. It says answer the following questions. Assume that the age of Rani is X years. Now there are a few questions given here based on this data. Let's see the first one. What was her age 7 years ago? And we are told we have to assume that the age of Rani is X years. Now if Rani's age is X years, what was her age 7 years ago? So how can we write an expression for this? If her age is x years now, what was her age 7 years ago? How can we write an expression for that? That would be 7 less than x. How can we write 7 less than x? That would be equal to x minus 7. So Rani's age before 7 years can be represented with the expression x minus 7 where x is her current age. So in the same way you have to form algebraic expressions based on the requirement given in the question and you can note down the expressions in your notebook. So children I hope all the questions we discussed today are clear to you. You have to complete the revision time exercise and the MCQs given in the textbook. You can note down your answers in the notebook and take a picture and send us through teams. So that's all for today. Hope all the concepts and exercise we discussed in this chapter are clear to you. We will meet in the next class with a new chapter. Till then, bye.